Welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to translate WPLMS 4.0. So WPLMS 4.0 has two core plugins, which is the YBP and the WPLMS plugin. So let's see what all sections are controlled by these two plugins. So if you go to the profile section of the WPLMS version 4, and this is the dashboard area. So the dashboard area comprises of widgets which are which you set in the in the appearance widget section and here you'll see that we have three sidebars registered which build the dashboard area. So first one is the YBP member dashboard. So this is a fallback dashboard area wherein you can add widgets and these widgets will appear for all the members who are not student neither an instructor so all the other members like editors administrators subscribers customers all the user roles that are defined in your site will see the ybp member dashboard in their dashboard area so as you can see we have the weather widget then we have uh, quiz widget courses widget assignments so all these if you see follow the same sequence here we have the weather widget so you can translate uh, you can edit these labels and they will reflect so you don't have to load the page to just have to load the widget again and here you can see I changed the uh, label for the weather, weather widget so this particular section is built of widgets which means this these are dynamic strings which you can change from the from the widget, widget areas so for students we, there is a student sidebar for instructor there is a instructor sidebar now by default you might see that there are widgets such as search recent posts comments which will not work in the dashboard area so the dashboard area requires widget which are specifically built for the dashboard and they are very useful for example and to locate them you just have to search in the browser dashboard and you will see those dashboard widgets right at the bottom of your screen and each of the widget will show a description to understand what the widget actually works like now in this page there is this hello administrator string which comes from the ybp translation so you have to install a plugin you can install any plugin we recommend installing the local translate and then we go to the plugin section and in the plugin section locate for the plugin ybp and you can click on it and here you can edit the language or you can create a new language so when you are creating a new language we recommend using the system location for saving of the uh, custom language using a system location means that when your theme is updated then your translations are not overridden so just to see how translations work i'll go back to the overview section and here we can search for the translation so as you can see we have added helpful uh, links to understand what where the translation appears and you can translate and then you will need to reload the page to see the translation applying you can use this translation to relabel strings in your WPLMS site as well now if we go to the courses section this whole courses section is is built by the WPLMS plugin so all the strings like course create course active expired search course and all these strings belong to the WPLMS section now before going into the WPLMS if you note that we have a the we have a we have a main menu here then we have a sub menu and then we have the information panel so in the in the profile menu these labels are can be changed from the 
menu itself so if you head over to the appearance menu section you can change these labels so you can change these labels into something else and then if you reload the page you will see those labels appearing so next is the is the other strings so for example we are at activity and profile so all the strings in the information area can be edited from the loco translate now there are still there are few strings such as the personal mentions favorites so these are the strings which are generated by the buddy press navigation so let's see how to translate these strings so for example we go to the course and the course panel is created by the wp lms plugin so we edit the wp lms plugin and here we can edit the language and inside this we search for enrolled courses and here you can see the tag which is which says buddy press navigation and we can relabel or translate this into our language now since this is buddy press navigation we need to perform one more step that is we need to go to the ybp settings and in the buddy press sub tab we need to refresh the navigation and you can see our translation has applied so next is the profile section now here you will see we have ratings followers student courses external links country now this particular page is created by the elementor so if we head over to the wordpress dashboard and in the ybp course member profiles if we edit this page you will see that we have this we can change this information right in the elementor area however these the the information which appears here these are basically profile fields so while some of the uh, strings are static the other are ba are based on profile fields so let's see how we can edit these profile fields so to change these profile na field names you need to go to the users profile field section and here you will see that we have the profile field and there is a label appearing above it and you can change this so now when we view this we updated profile updated profile field label here and in the profile view section also you will see the updated profile field value similarly there are other sections which you can translate so if you are using add on plugins for example the big blue button meetings or the y birdings then the translations are located in in these plugins itself that's it from wp lms tutorials thanks for watching